Goodbye, December 28. Hello, 2019. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. And today we are saying goodbye to 2018. Wait. 2018. I don't know why I said 2018. Anyways, I feel like I always start off saying I'm sorry because I haven't posted much. But you know what? I'm not going to apologize this time because, again, like I say every single time, life happens and yeah. I also feel like every December 31st or January 1st, I'm like, darn, I didn't post as much on my YouTube channel as. I wanted to so this year my resolution is gonna be post at least every other week and then I never even do that but I feel like this year was the worst year for my YouTube channel in the sense that I literally posted less than any other year that's why I mean it was like one of the worst years for my channel just just because of that because I posted less than any other year for this video I kind of wanted to just talk about a little bit just a small portion the highlights of my 2018 2018 like every other year was 12 months long 365 days long and a lot I mean a lot of shit went down and I'm so sorry I don't know why I cuss so much but I'm gonna try not to cuss anymore throughout this video because I know I have some young viewers Viewers, I am sorry. I will try to stop cussing. No, I, I won't try. I will stop cussing for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of the quality of my life. I'm such a BSer, I know. <laughs> um, anyways, 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 anyways. 2018 was heck of a year. The biggest thing that happened this year was that I freaking graduated college and that for me and basically my family that is such a huge deal to us why well for me there there are two reasons first I'm a first-generation student so I'm the first one to graduate high school I'm the first one to attend college and I'm the first one to actually graduate college um, and then the second reason is that if I look back to 2014, why do I keep saying and 14? 2014, um, I didn't have any plans to attend college. What, whether you believe in faith, whether you believe in destiny, whether you believe in God, somehow everything worked together and I ended up in college. Uh, the second highlight of my 2018 was Drum doll, drum doll. I can't speak today. The second accomplishment of the year is that I started grad school. Saying it out loud sounds kind of weird. I mean, I, being in classes is also weird, but it doesn't feel like grad school. Um, but yeah, I started grad school. I'm halfway done with grad school. So, my mind is just like, oh my gosh, what? Graduated with my bachelor's of social work, started grad school. The third highlight of my 2018 was, I wish, I wish this would have been a meet and greet. It would have been awesome, but you know what? I'm not working hard on YouTube, so I get it. But, I was asked by the Colorado Health Foundation to be part of their youth panelists and so they had three other ladies might have been four i'm not sure who also were part of the youth panelists and so what i did at this panel was basically answer questions and talk about my story with mental health that was a huge huge deal because we all know that i'm a huge advocate for mental health that was such a highlight because i spoke in front of 
800 like actual human beings in one freaking room like you should have seen that room like my heart before I went on stage was like boom 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 I was like this is 800 people what and they all had their eyes on you and so that was that was honestly an awesome experience to share my story and to talk a little bit about my opinion and my view on mental health and what is needed for the youth uh, that was honestly awesome in front of 800 plus people because there were 800 people in the room and on top of that it was live um, I will post the link down below of the segment where I was in so you guys can check it out shout out to the Colorado Health Foundation for that thank you for having me on there the other awesome thing that happened in 2018 is that I was able to see my grandma after 12 or 13 years. The last time I went with my mom to El Salvador was when I was 10 years old. I am now 22, about to be 23, and I hadn't seen my grandma since. Of course, I talk to her every day on the phone, but it's different. And having her physically with me and being able to freaking hug her was the most amazing, most awesomest thing ever. Like, that just honestly, I don't know, that, that like made my year that made my entire like world i only had a week with my grandma but every moment that i spent with her was just it was amazing and when i had to say goodbye to my grandma i i couldn't i just like cried like a baby and it was it was sad of course i also saw my grandpa but and i love my grandpa but i have a better relationship with my grandma and the, her visit was honestly amazing and I, I don't want to cry so yeah that's that's that what is the other highlight of my 2018 the last highlight like I said there was a lot of things that happened in 2018 but these are like the top things and accomplishments that really like you know empowered me and I was like wow wow this is awesome so the last one the last thing that i want to talk about is that i made a suicide prevention slash awareness video you guys can check it out um it's the video that i posted last um but that was awesome i received tremendous amount of love and support from that video I cannot tell you endless amount of messages and people telling me their story telling me about a loved one who you know they either died by suicide or you know I had a lot of people telling me they're survivors of suicide so really that video impacted me like no other that video truly truly I did it I did it to advocate, I did it to bring awareness to suicide, but primarily I did it in hopes that it helps somebody who really needs it or somebody who was thinking of you know, committing suicide. Um, because suicide rates lately are like out of the roof, especially in the community where I live in. And I don't know, I just something in me sparked and I wanted to make a difference instead of just, you know, feeling bad and you know feeling upset about all these numbers that are being thrown out in our community of oh this year we had three times the suicide than last year and so on and so forth so I did that um, and I guess I owe it to somebody very awesome my best friend Leslie shout out to you uh, literally she shared it on every single social media she could not only that she also contacted a lot of organizations a lot a lot of organizations and a lot of people um, in hopes that they share this video we had one specific organization that i cannot think of at the top of my head but it was a suicide awareness prevention page on facebook and so from that page, I believe I had like 184 shares, maybe 200, I'm not really sure, but around 184 shares and 13.2, last I checked, was 13.2 thousand views. Um, so that was like mind blowing. Like really, it gave me hope. It gave me hope 
that, you know, we can truly, truly impact a lot of people by putting a simple video up and it just shows how powerful words can be. I don't know, this year was crazy. It really, really was crazy. Um, just to end this video, I wanted to thank every single person who supported me throughout my journey, throughout my 22 years of life, whether it was when I was five years old, whether when I was 13, 18, or even now. I thank every single person who has helped me out, supported me, believed in me, pushed me to do better. That does not go on record. I want to wish all of you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. Go into 2019 with good vibes. Be present, be in the moment, whether it's with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones, just have a good time. And I wish you the best in 2019. Um, what else do I wanna say? And I hope all you guys stick around. Oh my God, how did I forget? I guess I have a fifth like highlight. My fifth highlight is that I got 364 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I know that for some of you that's like whatever, but honestly at the start of 2008, again, here I go with the end. The start of 2018, I had 200 subscribers. 200 and like, I think it was like 220 some. And I am ending the year with 365 freaking subscribers. So to all new subscribers, welcome, thank you. I won't, I won't disappoint. I do take a while to post, but when I post, I hope that it makes you laugh. I hope it makes you feel better. 2019, be good to each and every single person. And yeah, let's kill it. I don't know, I am very excited about 2019. I don't know why, I don't know why, I am just so, so stoked. Usually I'm not that stoked for New Year's, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I don't know why something in me this year is like, Cass, 2019, if you killed it in 2018, you're gonna kill it, you're gonna freaking crush it, you're gonna take it out of the freaking park in 2019. I don't know, and I, and I hope, and I hope that I'm right. I really do hope I'm right. Oh my god, I forgot how my outro goes. Eh. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. I, I think it goes like this. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, or even if you're a human being, please subscribe. And we will see you guys next week.